tutorial for this face off. It's actually an inspired video so I will link the original video below for you so you can check out what it originally looked like. A lot of things kind of went wrong with this tutorial and it was mainly the wax itself so I'm definitely going to try some Ben Nye next year and I might actually revisit this look next year and hopefully it will be improved but I wanted to do this because I love the original video and I really love the concept because I love the film Face Off. I don't know if anybody's seen that but it's Nick Cage and John Travolta and I just love it and I just love that this idea was kind of reminded me of that film which is not strictly a horror film but I just love the idea, so I have my stapled on face on my skull. So this is somebody else's face stuck onto my skull. I just really quite like the idea and I really like the gore to it. I think it looks really cool. It's not as nice or as tight as I wanted it to be or as clean, but um, I'm actually not too bad for a first attempt at it. And I think the gore kind of hides some of the little mishaps that I had. And I actually do quite like the makeup that I've got on. <laughs> So anyway, if you want to see how I did it, then please keep on watching. Hi fellow makeup fiends! So I'm sorry to horrify you with my no makeup face, as horrifying as it is, I know. Um, but we're actually going to start this tutorial with no makeup on at all. And that's because we're going to do that after we've mapped out and plotted the edge of the face line for this. Because that needs to go on to clean skin. All I've done is prime, that's dried and everything's fine to go. So I'm going to use the MAC Chromographic Pencil in white and I'm going to map that out and I'm going to start about halfway down the forehead and you need to do this really so that you can get like a clean line with your wax and you do want to have a nice edge and round so I don't want to go too far out with this because you want to be able to see the gore around the outside which is the exciting part That wasn't so bad, it actually joined up. <laughs> okay, I know I'm looking very red, I've just exfoliated this morning, stupid thing to do, right? Uh, there we go, that's the outline. Okay, I've moisturised my hands and I've got my Meron Extra Flesh it's called. This is like the wax, it's very very hard so I'm going to have to dig some out with a spoon, look at that, that's lovely. <laughs> and then I'm just going to rub it between my fingers. That goes softer a lot quicker than the Snazaroo wax, but it's still uber sticky. And I don't want it to be too fat of a sausage, but it's getting very, very sticky. Okay, I need to work with this a lot faster than the Snazaroo, obviously. And then I'm going to place this along this line. And I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, so I've got the wax on. That's all of the wax gone, officially. <laughs> I don't know, that didn't go very far. I found that it was just as awkward to work with as Sanazaru. I think next year I might try and get some Ben Nye. Um, it may not be much different, but just to for trying. This I found was more sticky than Sanazaru because I just felt like it got soft. It was great that it got soft quickly, but then it was bad that it got soft quickly because it got very, very sticky and difficult to work with. And in places, it's become quite difficult to apply. It doesn't matter for the end result because we're going to like sort of smooth the edges out on either side. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I'd rather have something that was a bit easier to work with. And I did use moisturiser on my hands and that just didn't seem to help over much. What I did forget to say is I did actually put spirit wax along the white line and I did it in sections. Um, just got this little bottle. Of Snazzaro Spirit Wax, Spirit Wax, Spirit Gum. I did paint that along the lines to help this stick better. So I'm going to allow that to dry and then I'm going to take my handy spatula, which is actually my spoon. So handy. <laughs> Thank 
thank you Tony and then we're gonna smooth out the edges of the wax but I'm just gonna let it dry first okay so I have smoothed out the edges in some places I feel like this has gone a little bit thin or it's just been quite sticky and it's come away that's the thing with wax it is a very sticky <laughs> unpredictable substance um, to work with so I'm gonna go to this snazzaroo and make out some just some little extra bits just to fill in these gaps I've got a little bit of a gap there and a tiny little one down there and a little bit here I'm pretty happy with the rest of it apart from I've got a tiny little gap there so I'm just gonna go away and stick the wax in the areas that are a little bit deficient then I'm gonna come back and we're going to get on with some liquid latex okay we're all smudged out now it became incredibly horrible to work with just oh I definitely want to try Ben Nye next year and just see if there's any improvement or difference because the Mehron definitely was too soft and sticky too soon. Um, so yeah, it's a bit blotchy in places but hopefully once everything's put on top of it it should look okay. So the next step is to take some liquid latex and I'm just using a little sort of triangular sponge and I'm just going to pop that on top of the wound all the way around and that just wants to cover the whole wound and it needs to go over on both sides so I'm going to do a couple of layers of this and then we are good to go with getting the makeup and the blood on right with that done liquid latex is drying I'm going to put the makeup on the inner part of the face which is the face that has been stuck on and then we'll get on with the rest of the look okay that's the inside done it's not exactly gone as planned the wax is just been an absolute pain I've had to put more snazaroo on because the mare on basically was just melting away with the warmth of the face it was just not good <sighs> so it looks a bit messy now messier than I thought it would be or hoped it would be but hopefully that will rectify itself as we go on and we put the blood on and hopefully it'll look better with the go on top and now what I did forget is I forgot to put my lipstick on so I'm gonna pop that on and then we'll get on with the blood okay nightmare in the chin area but let's just get the base of the blood on and just see where we go from there basically I'm going to use the Kryolan wheel and use the bright red first and paint around the outside and up to the hairline and I'm going to do that all the way around and then come back okay that definitely looks a bit better with the red on. Definitely looks more like a face stuck on it, just like a skinless skull kind of situation. <laughs> anyway, moving on to the burgundy in here. Just going to use the same brush and just to kind of stipple this around. The idea is I don't want to cover all of the bright red, I just want to give it more texture. Which definitely makes it look a lot more realistic, um, as if there was, you know, no skin up here. And this needs to go in your hairline as well. And as you can see, I'm just kind of stippling that on. Because the bright red on its own definitely does not look very real at all. <laughs> not too bad. I also have the other whale here, which I think that the burgundy in this one is a hint darker. It looks that way to me anyway. I think it's a bit more cool toned. So we'll take some of that. And just add that in in various places. Definitely a bit more cool toned. Then I just want to go back in with the bright red. And because this is really about layering the colours and getting that very stippled sort of look. Okay, I'm happy with that. The blood's definitely got a lot better than um, 
then the wax did. <laughs> so now we're going to use the Ben Nye Scab Gel. And this stuff is just fantastic for that just gooey, bloody texture. And then the wax, you know, it's a little bit thicker than I wanted, but it looks like the edges of the skin are kind of like not attached to the actual muscle or the, you know, the actual skull underneath, which I think is quite a cool look. And then I want to take some blood and I'm going to stipple some of this on. So I'm just going to use the lid of the cryolin and I'm going to pour some of this in. This is thicker, this is gel blood. The theatre blood is a lot more runny than this one, but what I'm looking for is sort of a thicker consistency. That's it there. And we're going to take this little snazzy stippling sort of sponge with this. Quite freaky actually, quite pleased with that. So that's that bit. I'm going to keep that little bit of blood handy because now we're going to take some staples. Now I've broken them off into quite thick little bunches here. What you want to do is take one end and very carefully place this into the wax. So that it just looks like the face is now stapled on to the actual skull. Quite effective and these are just staples broken into sort of bunches so it's several together just to give it like a thick more intense sort of look so you can see it better and these will actually hold quite nicely into the wax So I'm going to put the staples all around the face and then we'll be back. Okay, that's the staples pressed into the wax. You can go as mad as you want there, <laughs> put as many as you want. I'll put quite a few. I'm going to go back to the gel blood and then go around where the staples are. Definitely need a mirror for this little bit here. Go, go around where the staples are and just add just a little bit of blood to the staples if there's none in the wax. And then I'm just going to stipple some of this blood over where the wax is a little bit messy. And then hopefully that will disguise it a bit better. And that is basically it. That is a stapled on face. <laughs> I definitely think it could have gone a lot better with wax, but I'm going to be honest about that. I'm still applauding it because, you know, I'm new at trying these things myself and I don't think it's a bad attempt. So there you go. That is my face off. Do you know? I forgot what I was going to say. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. I really hope you've enjoyed the 13 Days of Horror series this year and we will be back to normal after October the 31st. So see you all soon. Pleasant screams.